Hey everyone, this is Mike from Galaxy S4 Soft Modder, and today I'll be showing you how to root your AT&T Galaxy S4. So this guide is going to be a little different in that it's carrier specific and firmware specific. Basically this guide only applies to you if you have AT&T and if you have the MF3 firmware on your Galaxy S4. So to find out if you do, check your GS4 settings. Under more, go to about device and look at your baseband version. If the last three characters are MF3, then you can stick around and I'll show you how to root. If not, uh, please do not proceed with this guide. You could uh, mess up your phone. So just a word of warning before we start. If you've rooted an Android phone before, installing a custom recovery like uh, Clockwork Mod or TWRP uh, might have been part of the process. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a recovery does, it's software that allows you to flash custom ROMs like CyanogenMod onto your phone. So unfortunately at the moment there are no recoveries compatible with our version of the GS4. So that means you won't be able to put custom ROMs onto your phone. Uh, but still, getting root will allow you full control of your device. So all credit for this root method goes to Jortex over at XDA. We'll have a link to his XDA thread in our full tutorial. So if you're an XDA member, once you're done with this guide, don't forget to head over to his thread and click thanks on his post. So you're going to need the following items. A uh, desktop computer your micro SD card and a card reader that you can plug into your PC. Uh, before removing your SD card from your phone you need to unmount it. Uh, if you just remove it without properly unmounting you risk losing the data on your card. So in order to unmount your settings under more go to storage and tap on unmount SD card and click OK on the prompt and you see the little message there and then to remove your back cover there's a little slot up here the cover will snap right off and then um, to remove it don't pull it out push it in and it'll pop out and you can just take it out like that. Alright, so go ahead and uh, plug your micro SD card into your uh, adapter or card reader and then plug that into your computer. And the next step, we're going to format everything on the SD card. So that means uh, everything's going to be deleted. So if you need to back stuff up, uh, go to your documents or something and create a folder named like SD card backup and then just copy and paste everything onto the card or from the card onto your backup folder so once you've backed everything up uh, right click on where your SD card is and select format All right, so under file system make sure XFAT is selected and then under format options make sure to uncheck quick format so neither of these should be checked go ahead and press start and that will give you the warning that uh, formatting is going to erase everything on the disk let's go ahead and press ok so once you have the SD card formatted uh, download this .rar file onto your computer uh, you can either get it from Jortex's XDA thread or we will also have a download link in our full tutorial. It says a uh, root for AT&T GS4. So we're going to unzip that to uh, the root level of your SD card, uh, meaning uh, not in any folders or anything. So I use a, a free pro program called a 7-zip. And Select extract files and then just look for your where your SD card is at. Uh, mine's in the E drive right now, so 
select it. I already have it unzipped, but uh, go ahead and do it yourself. Press OK. And once the files are on there, uh, you should see four items, one folder, and then three other files with these file names. Uh, once that's copied onto your SD card, you can go ahead and eject it from your computer. Right, go ahead and pop your SD card back into your Galaxy S4. Put the cover back on. Once you have it in, uh, just make sure your phone is reading it. Go to your um, settings and then storage again. And then uh, just make sure uh, all this info is available under SD card. So now we're going to search the Play Store for an app called Android Terminal Emulator by Jack Palovich. Go ahead and search for that. And then uh, open it up and we'll be using it to uh, input some commands into the phone. Alright, so you're going to enter cd space slash mnt slash ext and then capital S D capital C A or D so that's the first command go ahead and press enter now dot slash PWN second command uh, go ahead and press enter <laughs> alright uh, that's a good thing to see it says obtained root and you have one more command to put dot slash script dot s h so that very last step that we entered into terminal emulator uh, script dot s h it's supposed to install an app called super su onto your phone but uh, some people have had trouble with this step and they didn't get it installed for whatever reason. But uh, if the script doesn't automatically install that for you, then you can just head to the Play Store, search for SuperSU, the developer name is Chainfire. Go ahead and download and install that. And just open it up, make sure you don't get any error messages or anything. So now we're going to head to the Play Store and search for uh, an app called Root Checker, which uh, verifies whether or not your device has root. The developer name is Joy Krim. Uh, once you have it installed, go ahead and open it up. Tap on the button that says Verify Root Access. And this super user request should pop up. Go ahead and grant it access. And it'll say congratulations, this device has root access. And uh, let's go ahead and reboot the device and just make sure that the root stays after a uh, reboot. So once you've booted up again, just go ahead and uh, run the root checker one more time. and now your device is completely rooted so now that your phone is rooted you can now use apps that require root and your phone can handle any other soft mods that we'll be showcasing to you in the future so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check out the full tutorial at galaxy s4 soft modder